Now in this example we've got an integral of sine x cos cubed x and it's integrated with respect to x from x going from 0 to pi upon 6. Now you could actually do this particular integral by recognition but I'm going to show you how we can do it by substitution. But the main point of this tutorial is to show you how to handle limits when we're dealing with substitution. Now the substitution that we would use for something like this would be to let u equal sine x. Okay, So we have let u equal sine x. And in the usual way we need to differentiate this with respect to x. So if we differentiate with respect to x we would have du dx equals cosine x or cos x for short. Now we require dx by du and dx by du is given by 1 over du by dx so we have dx by du equals in this particular example 1 over cos x. What we need to do is to write in our f of x which will be the sine x cos cubed x so we'll put that in sine x cos cubed x and then in place of dx du, it'll be 1 over cos x. So you have 1 over cos x. And then all of this is integrated with respect to u. We have to put the limits in though. And the limits that we have here are limits with respect to x. Because we were integrating with respect to x. Now we've changed it to integrating with respect to u, and so our limits must change accordingly. And to do that, what we need to do is find out what the corresponding u values are when x is naught and when x is pi upon 6. And we can use our substitution for that. So when we take the lower limit, when x is 0, we find that if we put 0 in here, u equals the sine of 0, and the sine of 0 is 0. And then we need to take the upper limit, and that upper limit was x was pi upon 6. So when x is pi upon 6, we can see that u is equal to the sine of pi upon 6. And the sine of pi upon 6 is 1 half. So we need to put our limits in. So when x was 0, we find that u was 0. And when x was pi upon 6, u was a half. Now you may find in some integrals with limits that this bottom limit turns out to be bigger than the top limit. Don't make the mistake by swapping the two limits around. Always keep them in their corresponding positions. All right. Okay, moving on, what we have now to do is just simply change the variable here so that it's in terms of u. But one of the first things I notice is that the cos x cancels with the cos cubed x up here, bringing it down to cos squared x. Now, then we have the uh, integral then of 0 to a half of sine x, which is u, and cos x, or cos squared x in this particular example, we've got to get that across to u. How are we going to do that? Well, what we should know is that cos squared x plus sine squared x is identical to 1, well-known identity. So therefore, cos squared x is clearly going to be identical to 1 minus sine squared x. So that means that cos squared x must be 1 minus u squared, because u, if you remember, up here is sine x. So I can write this in then as 1 minus u squared. And then we have du on the end. All we need to do now is just expand the bracket. So we have our integral going from 0 to a half. Expanding the bracket is going to give u minus u cubed. Don't forget though to put that in brackets still. 
then just simply integrate it. If we integrate then we have square brackets integral of u with respect to u is going to be u squared over 2 and the integral of u cubed with respect to u would just be simply u to the 4 over 4 and that is going from 0 to a half. What you could do if you really wanted to but it's not worth it um, at this point is now to substitute u equals sine x in but it really is silly to do that okay if you substitute u equals sine x in at this point you must then change the limits back from to 0 to pi upon 6 well what a waste of time that will be you'll end up with exactly the same answer if you just go from here substitute your half in so you've got a half of u squared so we have a half of u squared so if the half goes in for you we have half of half squared then we have a quarter of u to the 4 so that's a quarter of u to the 4 u is now a half so that's half to the power 4 and then if we subtract what do we get when we put 0 through and quite clearly you can see that if you put 0 through that's going to be 0 now if you work this out what you'll find is that you get 7 64 7 over 64